How has the business of offshoring evolved since you first began to study it? I started looking at the area of offshoring from 1979, seeing how it's evolved over the years. And initially it was a very much of an us versus they kind of an attitude. Work would be given from one side, it would be done at another site, very little interaction would take place. Now it's much more collaborative in nature, people who are the hosts versus the people who are the sponsors, they talk with us almost every day. Uh, so what we are seeing much increasingly is the notion of hybrid kind of work where some of the work is being done by the sponsor itself or from the site where the work originated and some of it is at, done at a distance and in many cases there's multiple sites who are actually collaborating. So over time I think this difference of uh, the feeling that it's not really part of the organization doing the work is largely going away like if you take a company like IBM IBM US gets work done in India. Now that's an example of offshoring, but people still think it's within the same company. It's not being really going outside. So those are the new kinds of models which are evolving based on the improvements in technology, based on the better understanding of business processes, based on better uh, feeling of collaboration among the teams.